But yeah, my dog was possessed. Open up, you open up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chloe here. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to tell you some funny story times from my childhood. Well, that might be the title, or the title might be that I live in a murder house. So, the murder house one will be at the end, so yeah, keep watching till the end to see that. I have my tea, since I just always do that now in my videos. <sighs> yeah, I thought I'd come and chill with you guys and tell you some funny slash weird slash what even stories from my childhood. So first was, okay, the first day of early start, which was like, oh, I, don't even, I don't even know how to explain it. It was like, in Ireland, we have like, in primary school, there's like junior infants, senior infants, and you go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth class. And like junior infants is like the first year for like primary school, you're like four or five. And before that, for some reason, um, like I was living in Loud at the time, so there's this thing called like early start in the school, which is like for like it wasn't junior infants, but it was like before junior infants, which I don't even know what it was. It's kind of like a crash kind of thing, but yeah, it was on my first day of that, so I was around three, I say, and <laughs> I was walking up. We had to walk up this like big ass hill, which most of the time my mom would go to carry me up because I'd be too lazy. So, um, yeah, on my first day of early start, I got stung by a bee, which was, which is not even that, like, exciting, but, you know, it seems funny when you think about it. <laughs> it's funny because on my mom's first day of secondary school, she got stung by a bee or a wasp, and it actually got stung on her eyelid, which is, like, I don't even know how that happens. But yeah, it's just funny because that was her first day of second school and this was my first day of early start and then I was like, what a coincidence. And then there was a time that, <laughs> there was a time that I don't know what age Sarah she was. She was like, oh, I'm, off, I'm horrible at times, at ages. But like, she was sitting on a booster seat at the time. So, and there was a wasp like on her booster seat. So she, like the wasp was like, the seat was like here, the wasp was like there. And she went, boom, and sat on it and just stung the ass by a wasp or a bee. <laughs> it's just funny. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just weird. But yeah, we don't, we're not a great family with wasps or bees, so. And then, I might as well tell you the story of my rabbit. Yeah, I think I already mentioned that. Oh, I mentioned it in my assumptions video. But yeah, one time... We would have day in loud and actually all these stories are in loud apparently. <laughs> and there was like a rabbit on like in the state and had like a broken leg. So we we're kinda of like, oh, we'll keep it, you know, bring it to the vet and all. Then we went to my dad's work and I was petting it. So this is like black rabbit and I was petting it on my lap. Then my dad was like, you know what? You need to go to the bathroom. Chloe, we're gonna bring it to the bathroom. Be back in a second. And it turns out the rabbit died on my lap while I was petting it so my dad was like yeah we can't tell her that she's only like four so my dad was like yeah it needs to go to the bathroom but instead he just chucked it into a field and my dad told me that I ran away and that was my few days maybe just one day of having a rabbit so yeah another one is um, that, I used to, okay, when I was younger, I used to watch like Tally Tubbies, which were these like four big characters. One was called Inky Winky, one was called Dipsy, one was called Lala, and one was called Poe. And yeah, they're these big colourful creatures. I are kind of creepy if you look them up now, but you know, they were my life, and so was Barney. But yeah, on the Tally Tubbies, they used to make this thing called like Toby Custard and Toby Toast and the Toby Custard was this like little pink like gloop and the Toby Toast was this like circle like 
pancake kind of thing with like like two eyes and like a mouth cut out of it and like my mom used to make me it like make me it she used to make like use angel's delight to like for the tubby custard and then the tubby toast she got toast and cut it into a circle and made a face out of it because you know i was i don't even know <laughs> that spoiled <laughs> but yeah and then apparently there was a time that like if my mom wouldn't make it for me that like I just wouldn't eat anything else for like a week that I would literally go on like a hunger strike unless I got my tubby toast or tubby custard because you know I was just that crazy as a child which is kind of just really sad but like yeah also I have my dinner with me here so you know I'm gonna eat that after I tell these quick ones I just taught up real quick but like never one was my mom told me that <laughs> I was so jealous of Sersha and like Sersha was born when I was like six I was so jealous of her that like my mom made like a chart that like so that when I was good she put like a little star on it when I was like when I go to bed on time I'd get a star on it and like after I got like a certain amount of stars at the end of the week I'd get a prize <laughs> oh I don't even know what was wrong with me I was just Loco Coco. I didn't even know I was that bad with Sersha, but you know. Yeah. It's that odd that I need a chart to be good. Because, you know, jealousy. And then another one was that when I was younger, I don't know why it was, the times was were nappy, like nappy times. And we went to the beach and I, I just wouldn't wear my nappies. You know, I ran around the beach with no nappy on and... Which obviously resulted in me, you know, going to the bathroom. So, yeah, I would like pee and poo everywhere. <laughs> so they always just like follow me around, to, like cover up my poo on the beach, <laughs> which is so disgusting. But you know, I was only one or two or three. Live my free the nappy life, you know, free the nappy. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if you're younger. Whenever you're like obviously a child, like some people just get like guess so like like they have like a favourite blanket or teddy or like something. Well, I had a favourite blanket and this blanket was like a horrible green. Not the most nicest of colours, but you know, it was my favourite thing ever. Like I loved it so much that like I would just never let it out of my sight. My mum literally said that like whenever she had to wash it, she had to take it take it from me when I was asleep and wash it and dry it before I woke up the next morning. If I woke up in the middle of the night and the blanket wasn't there, I would cry and cry and cry until I got it. And you know, sometimes it would still be wet. So you know, I'd be there hugging my little wet, damp, puke green coloured blanket and falling asleep, living my life. It's funny though because, <laughs> I, actually I don't know what was wrong with me as a child, but you know, I used to eat it, yeah, I used to eat my blanket, because you know, why not? And I used to like, eat big huge clumps out of it, like it was bad, it got so bad to the point that like there's only a little bit left, my mom had to go buy another one, and obviously because you know, I throw a tantrum if like, I did not have my blanket, my mom had to go to go and find the exact same blanket I don't know how I didn't know it was that like it obviously just grew from that little rag yoke to a brand new blanket but, you know I didn't notice I didn't care you know what's funny I call actually I call it goo goo and here's goo goo 2.0 and I still have it because you know obviously this is the second one so it's not as bad but you know I still chewed it there's still <laughs> This is supposed to be a, a corner and like I don't even know where the corner is supposed to be but you know here's <laughs> all my bite marks off my blanket because you know I was some demon child that just ate thing fabric. I also used to eat like in you know, the corners of like my collars and stuff in school but like yeah not this bad so I don't even know I don't even want to think of what my freaking first one <laughs> looked like at the end because just seeing this, I just actually just look crazy. 
don't worry, I've stopped buying blankets now, so yeah. So I had to go ask my family for it to tell me some stories because I just can't remember anything. So number one is that, see our, our attic is converted into Saoirse's bedroom. So Saoirse technically has two bedrooms, which is why she isn't that phased if I come and record in her bedroom because she's literally right upstairs in the attic bedroom right now so yeah so first of all okay so some explaining our front door is here our hall is here and then there's stairs that goes like up from like beside the door up like the like, obviously stairs goes up and then instead it goes up you come out of the stairs then there's a landing foam it goes like this and it turns a bit to make a little hall then that exterior goes boom and then it shoots up like the same way the stairs does and right at the little like turn bit on the attic stairs this like piece of wood like hangs out a bit which like you wouldn't like you just you wouldn't hit it unless you're like she's standing like, right at the edge of the stairs coming down into the hall like at the bottom floor and I was an idiot one time and I was like eh I don't want to get out of bed, you know, I was like younger, so obviously. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed. I'm like, I'm still asleep. I'm sleepwalking, I swear. And I walked down the stairs, my dumb ass with my eyes closed, whacked off the pole, like right here. And I was like, oh, and it was so sore. I think there was like a little mark, but not in too extreme. So <laughs> that was funny at the time. And also sore, but you know. I was stupid and then there was a time actually there's loads of times where like me and Sir should like get on the duvet like get like a, like my my double duvet or someone else's double duvet whatever and we'd like sit on it and then like we'd lay it out like flat then we'd sit on it and then get like, the duvet and like wrap it up so we'd hold on to it and then we'd like scooch down <laughs> scooch down the thing and obviously like when you go down the duvet kind of like goes backwards when you go down the back the way it goes backwards obviously then you end up getting freaking like ass burned on the carpet or wood actually we'd burn wood then ass burnt on the wood and then there's times we'd like we have a little like table at the bottom of the stairs so we go boom just whack into that and there's one time we're living in loud and it's actually a murder house and <laughs> my dad got like loads of like this actually before Sarah was born so you know fun times and there's, a, there's like my dad got those a cardboard from work I think and he like stuck it all over the stairs and the stairs was also like going up and a little turn a little bit and he got cardboard stuck it all over there and like we we're like sliding down <laughs> I don't know how I didn't break my neck yeah we're like literally climbing up we'd like tap my dad have a towel out there trying to climb up and like slippy as hell because you know it would be all cardboard yeah, I don't know how it, I don't know how it didn't break any bones or anything, but you know, I lived. The ghosts decided to let me live, but you know what? I'll get into the murder house because you know that's that's why we're all here. So first of all, this was in, in Loud I lived from Loud to Calvin when I was like six. So I live in the murder house for I don't even know. I was like three, four. Five? I don't even know. So I, moved, I live in a lot of places in Loud. But yeah, the murder house. First of all, the exterior and the way you get to it is just creepy. First of all, you'd be on this main road and then you'd like turn, go down this alleyway, which is like a steep kind of hill with loads of other houses on the side. You get to the end of it. It was kind of like really like a short little drive, but like you get to the end of it and then there's like big huge gate and you'd like walk and this this be there'd be this big huge building like it's still here it's like it's abandoned now i think it used to be a gym at the time but yeah it got like burnt down recently <laughs> so yeah but that i didn't live there that was beside it which is probably it's also really creepy but you know and then right before you get to the big huge gate so the big huge gate is here to the right of it like turn a bit and there's another gate and like 
you could either like open it and like drive in or there's a little like door frame bit where you can just like open that and walk in and but yeah there's this like ground floor of like loads of doors and obviously it was like like two stories and then there's these like stairs on the outside which bring you up to a higher bunch with just more doors and they're a double story or two story as well and I lived at the very like when you go up the outer stairs you walk along the thing the very last house our apartment little thing and then right beside that was this big huge red chimney which was creepy and but yeah <laughs> the exterior is creepy the way you go to it is creepy there used to be so many stray cats around the gap it was just I seem to have a horror film, if anything. But yeah. Whew, excuse me. But yeah, um. This happened before we moved in, so. We didn't even know this happened until like after we moved in, so. My mom only told me this story a couple of years ago, because obviously she wasn't going to tell me when I was like three, four, five, because you know, so it's weird. But yeah, it was like, it's kind, of, it kind of like a small little thing, you know, it had a kitchen, a sitting room, had two bedrooms, bathrooms, you know, simple AF. But like, yeah, apparently there's this couple, a girl and a guy, who lived there, and the girl had this like, psycho, crazy ex. And he came walking, actually, I think he knocked, actually, he knocked on the door, front door, and the girlfriend was like, or the ex girlfriend was like, like, what are you doing here? And the guy just walked in. Marcy walked upstairs to like the bedroom where my mom and dad stayed. And Psycho X stabbed the boyfriend like full on with a knife. Went, boom, stabbed, bleeding everywhere. The boyfriend was like crawling from the bedroom to the landing, down the stairs, out the front door, and like just like died on the little balcony bit outside the front door and yeah I presume the guy got arrested but yeah it's actually it's not even that long it's kind of creepy because you know of all things you would not think you'd live in a house where someone literally got stabbed because that's just crazy but yeah we moved in you know I was living my life I had my yellow bedroom, I don't know why it's freaking yellow, but yellow bedroom, like these like animal stickers all around the gaff, I'd like a Winnie the Pooh duvet because you know, Winnie the Pooh is life and yeah, I was living my life, I had my little tape recorder TV box because you know, I was that old that um, I literally had tape, like tapes, if anybody knows what tapes are, you know, tapes before DVDs and CDs and all that stuff and like the TV would literally just be for tapes so I'll be there chilling, like dancing to my like um, cat in the hat. I think Leanne, my auntie, she had a cat in the hat tape, which had like the little dance at the end. Like, if y'all know cat in the hat, cat in the hat was my, it was my jam. There's a dance at the end. I always remember on my dad, on my dad's tapes, there's a clip of me like dancing with, my, with crazy plaits out of my hair, it's, like dancing on my <laughs> on my bed did a cat in the hat thing. But, yeah, like we moved into the house and we didn't know like someone was murdered in the house because you know my parents would probably be like nah like no that's just not for us we don't want, we don't want to be haunted so yeah we moved in and my mom you know was cleaning around the house like, right after she moved in and then she found blood like dry blood behind the radiator or radiator whatever you call it you know the thing that produces heat at the wall <laughs> yeah there's dried blood behind that and my mom was like telling the landlord like yo what the hell is with the goddamn blood and he was like yeah someone was murdered here he he but you know please stay we'll give you cheaper rent so you know what my parents were like thanks we'll take the cheaper rent and we stayed there which is kind of I don't Nothing crazy happened. Like I didn't get some like no like exorcist and like little person come crawling on the walls, ghosts coming after me. But we did have this dog, this little white little fluffy 
dog we called Molly and yeah she was cute and all but then she bit me and the worker said that she was completely fine with kids and all this stuff but nah that dog was like nah I say she got <laughs> possessed by the ghost in the house <laughs> possessed by the person that got stabbed so you know the dog was like nah I'm here for revenge and just bit me on the finger so you know we had to get rid of her and there was one time in the house that like my dad was at work my mom was upstairs cleaning and like my bike was like in the hall and I was just sitting there you know like legs crossed you know just staring at my bike and my stupid ass just went, caught my finger, and just stuck it in the chain of the goddamn bike. And I started screaming because it was obviously stuck and like painful AF. My mum was like trying to get it out and she couldn't get it out. So she's ring my dad and my dad to leave work to come and save me from getting my finger stuck in the chain. So let's say that I was possessed. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's all the stories I have I can think of. Weird, funny, somewhat kind of dangerous, and kind of scary, because you know, haunted house. I'm sorry if you came to see this because you actually thought like full on like I got possessed and like all this stuff from living in a haunted house. But no, I started living my life with my cat in the hat tape in my little room. Because you know, ghosts were like, nah, we're not haunting her ass. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below any videos you'd like me to do in the future. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.